Hey everybody, it's Brandy Dad and Katie and Coco in the on the floor. It's another edition of Unbreakable the Podcast. It's Monday, September the 9th. Katie's bugging me here. She's tapping me on the shoulder. She wants treats, but you know, okay, okay. Daddy will give in, of course. Of course, Daddy always does give in. Snacks, snacks. Let's have some snacks. Dad, would you like something? Here. I can't. I wish I could reach in there and give you one of these snacks, but I can't. There, there. Open up. Here, here. Snacks, boys and girls. Snacks, snacks. You know, this is the only thing that uh, Bud used to hang around during the podcast because I had snacks in my drawers. <laughs> Look, there he is, the patron saint of this fine podcast. Bubba himself. We miss you and we love you, Bubba. That I explained this before. For some strange reason, he used to jump up on the chair next to the sewing machine. And uh, it's like he wanted to learn how to sew. Nobody could figure out what the hell he was doing. But there he is. Yeah. So from, from that moment on, he was always known as the old sewing suit. The old sewing suit. Right, guys? All right, more snacks, more snacks, more snacks, more snacks. All right, so a lot to talk about today because a lot happened over the weekend. Um, well, you know, tonight is Monday Night Football and uh, the first Monday Night Football game of the year. Chet said this 49ers. You got that goofy, goofy uh, Aaron Rodgers. And uh, playing the 40 winers, the 40 winers out there in San Francisco. Um, so let's see what happens, right, today. Uh, you know, I was thinking about this all weekend. And I thought, you know what? I really, I kind of miss that Howard Cosell guy. How many of you out there remember Howard Cosell? Howard Cosell was this really annoying guy with his nasally voice with a bad toothpick. But he was a good reporter, and you knew the event was important if Howard Cosell was there. You know, he was at the all the uh, Frazier Ali fights, and uh, he was at all the big events. And I thought, yeah, that Monday night football starting tonight, I thought, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be kind of cool if Howard Cosell was at the debate tomorrow doing the pre-debate and post-debate show? And I could just imagine him. You know how Cosell, whatever, whatever you know, they'd always have like a, a a special guest drop by the booth every week. And uh, it didn't matter. Let's say the football game is really close. And it's uh, 13-13, final seconds, Jets in Miami. Jets are getting ready to kick the game-winning winning field goal. And all of a sudden, Cosell would break in it. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, guess who's just stopped into the booth? It's Jerry Lewis himself. Jerry, what the hell are you doing here, Dell? Well, Howard, I'm here to... I'm here to promote my new movie called Lady, Lady, Lady. I don't know, something like that. So, you know, what if Howard was doing the debate? He'd be there with Trump and Kamala, and they'd be talking and stuff, and then it, 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 Howard would do the play-by-play. -play. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the most boring debate I've ever heard. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. She just called him a convicted felon. She, but, but down goes Trump. Down goes Trump. Down goes Trump. Anyway, I don't know. I was just thinking about that. So <laughs> I do miss Howard Cosell, though, because there was no one like him, and there's no one like him since. Go figure. Um, okay, so what's next on the agenda here? Uh, oh, tonight you're going to hear, or you're going to see, Something that hasn't happened in 41 years. <clears throat> no, it's not like a 
an eclipse of the moon or some astrological stuff. It is the first time that Wheel of Fortune is going to be hosted by someone other than Pat Sager. Yes, tonight, the first night, Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest is taking over Wheel of Fortune tonight. Vanna White's still there, but uh, God bless her. But Ryan Seacrest taking that. It's Ryan Ke Seacrest. Guy. He's all over the place, you know? He is like, he does an American Idol. He does DJ stuff. He does, uh, uh, he used to be on this Kelly, Kelly and Ryan, Kelly and da, da. How many damn partners has she had in her life? That? I mean, we're talking partners like talk show partners. Not, not, we don't get into that. But, you know, Regis Philbin must be rolling over in his grave because he's probably saying, Kelly, 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 what? That, that, since I died, you got to write a partner every week. <laughs> anyway, so, but Ryan Seacrest uh, is taking over. Now, I do remember, this shows you how, bye, bye, guys. They're all leaving. They're saying, this show sucks to me. You know, uh, you know I remember, this is how old I am. I'm 118 years, freaking years old. I remember prior to Pat Sajak, you had a guy named Chuck Woolard, Chuck Woolard, who hosted Real Fortune. And then you had a former football player. He used to be a kicker for the San Diego Chargers back in those days, the name was San Diego. His name was Ralph Bedershko. And uh, he only lasted like a couple of months because he sucked. You know, like, he made a bad career move there. Uh, he should have stuck to kick in. Instead, he thought he was this uh, game show host and he thought wrong. Anyway, Ralph Badushka, Babushka, or whatever the hell his name was, he was there. But we're talking like 41 years ago. Pat Sajak. So tonight it's going to be really weird not to see Pat Sajak there, you know? And here's the thing. This brings up another year of aggravation for me. Because I like watching Wheel of Fortune, as probably a lot of you do, but I get so exasperated by these stupid, stupid moron people. You know what pisses me off the most? Uh, when you got somebody on there, Let's say the word is lemonade, lemonade, and all the letters are up, but the O. But you know what it is. You know what it is. You'd have to be like a chimpanzee not to know what it is. So all the letters, but the O. And yet, the guy will say, oh, oh Pat, I like the body O. And Pat's like, but you know what it is. Why why do you why waste your money? You know, and all these vows two two hundred fifty dollars a piece. Why waste your freaking money buying the O when you know what it is anyway? I like to buy the O. And then and then you got these guys on there, or these ladies, lady, lady, who go on there, and let's say in the puzzle there are four. T's, but maybe only one V. And they call, she calls a V. And that's fine. If she has more turns, she can go get the T's because they're worth four times the money. But instead, she says, had all solved. That drove me up, drives me up the friggin' wall. Because if you're going to solve, why not call the four T's and get four times your money? instead of the one D, right? Isn't that just common sense, basic math? And I hate that. I suck at that. Yet I even know that. That drives me up the freaking wall. I hate that. But, you know, like I said, I am so old. I remember when the wheel used to have like $50 on it. Those, I swear to God, when they first started with Ralph Baboshka, 
fifty dollars on the wheel. You spin the wheel. Oh, it's fifty. Give me a letter. And <laughs> I, I mean, things have changed, haven't they? It's that now you spin the wheel, you get this all expense paid trip to Acapulco or something, right? Back in the day, when I remember Wheel of Fortune, you spin the wheel, you get an electric toothbrush. What the hell? What the hell? All right, so what else? Oh, today happens to be National Teddy Bear Day. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, hug your teddy. Hug your teddy. Um, you know, come to think of it, I never, I never really had a teddy bear. No, I, I not that I really wanted one. I never had one. When I was a kid, the best thing I remember having, as far as something you could hug and something you could snuggle with, other than one of the dogs, I've always had dogs, uh, was uh, uh, this stuffed dog, a stuffed dog. His name was Ralph, by the way, Ralph Babushka. No, but his name really was Ralph. That's an odd coincidence. It happens. Ralph the dog. And he had the floppy ears. And the thing about brown dog, Ralph, plastic face, a plastic face, you know? Back in those days, they uh, things didn't have like a real face. They had like a plastic, hard, hard plastic face. And the thing that made Ralph adorable what I loved about it was the eyes closed. So I remember as a kid being there, closing the eyes and getting a big kick out of it, practically peeing on something. Then you open the eyes. You know, you know, it's the late 50s, early 60s. Entertainment was really hard to come by back then. You know, we didn't have like the oh, other we didn't have, like, back in the day, we didn't have cable, we didn't have streaming, we didn't have all this, uh, 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 the kids have nowadays, the phones and the computers and stuff. All we had were dogs that closed their eyes. That's all we had. Anyway, so, <laughs> but it is National Teddy Bear Day, so do something for your teddy bear, too. Uh, birthdays. Guess whose birthday it is today? The one and only... I kind of look because I forgot. Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler's birthday. Okay? He is 58 years old. Uh, I hate Adam, Adam Sandler. I got, I got I get here. I give him this big build up. Guess whose birthday it is today? Da, 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 da. Adam freaking Sandler. I can't stand him. I can't stand him. He always with this. Uh, you know, when he first came on Saturday Night Live with this little baby, it's a baby, right? And talking about Hanukkah and singing about it. What I don't like about Adam Sandler, he made a lot of stupid movies. You know, when he when he started touching The Longest Yard, that iconic, perfect movie of all time, The Longest Freaking Yard with Burt Reynolds, Eddie Albert, and a lot of old-time hard-nosed football players, like Ray Nitschke. Hey, hey. You know, that was a great movie. And uh, when Adam Sandler redid it again, it sucked. Oh, it sucked big time. So, uh, but I understand he's, he's a better actor now. He did that basketball movie which I forget the name of, the local one. And uh, he's done some pretty good, more serious movies now. You know, so, yeah. Plus, the man, Adam Sandler, I don't know how he got so much. Apparently, he's made some really good investments over the years. He gets a percentage of, the guy gets $20, $20 million of film now. Plus, he can ask for like a percentage of the box office. So if it's a big hit, he's like, that's what Jack Nicholson used to always do. Uh, he would get a percentage of the box office. But the Batman movie, 
but he played the Joker. He already, he already worked for scale. He already took the biddable, but what he did was he took a cut and the film. He made, Jack Nicholson made like $300 million from that one roll of load. Yeah, that's the way to do it. So Adam Sandler is worth $440 million as of today. Go figure. Why? So, uh, you know, okay, okay, he's a decent actor. I just, I just can't, I just can't stand him, okay? Take that little whiny. All right, all right, so much for that. Uh, by the way, the, uh, thanks for asking. The diet's going well. This is day three. That you don't see any of the fat melting off of me yet, but uh, it's not there yet. See, you have to go through four days of what they call. Then you get into the fat burning stage. I hate that phrase, fat burning stage, with the emphasis on fat. So, uh, I got two more days to go today and tomorrow, and then we're officially into stuff starts to come off of you. You know, go figure. So, uh, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm not. I'm not bitchy. I'm not snappy or snippy. Uh, I warned you last week I might be, but I'm, I'm surprised at myself. I'm surprised how chipper and, and uh, gleeful and, and happy I am and joyful. But, uh, you know, uh, we'll see what happens by tomorrow. I might be a total, I might be a total jerk. Who knows? I don't know. But, you know, I, I haven't really like crave a uh, Cheeto yet or yearn for a uh, Dorito yet. I haven't really. Although I was watching George this week with George Stephanopoulos yesterday, which I always watch every week. You know what? They ought to just change the name of that freaking show because he's never on. He's on maybe once every six weeks now. And George Stephanopoulos is the best, the best interviewer, the best host. But he's never on. So change the title of the show, take off with George Stephanoff, and take that off and put this just call it this week. I was watching it yesterday and they had Donna Brazil on who had and she's talking about the debate on Tuesday and what it's gonna be a show. It's gonna be a show. And she said, get your popcorn and wine ready. And I thought, damn. You know, I happen to be on a diet now, but popcorn and wine sounds really, really good. You know, you get yourself a whole, whole big bowl of popcorn there. You salt it all up. I'm not, I'm not one a big butter guy, so eh, hold the butter, but you salt it nice and crispy. Yeah, maybe make a little uh, oval red or uh, top secret. You get it fresh. And, uh, not, not in this Jiffy Pop. Remember Jiffy Pop when you were a kid? You put it on the stove and the thing would blow up and it would pop out. Was a, I never knew how to do it. And number two, it sucked. I, I hated the taste of Jiffy Pop. You know, a lot of times you would burn it and you get that burn, burn popcorn taste in your mouth. It, 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 it was bad. So, but what I'm thinking is, uh, I might call a halt, time out in the diet tomorrow, saying, okay, I want a ball of popcorn and a glass of wine while I'm watching the debate. Uh, I know that's going to throw things off, but uh, I might just do it. You only live once, and there's only one debate. So, anyway, I will see that then. Um, so, but the diet's going good. Thanks for that. I know you're concerned. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, so, you know, Phillies, did they even show up in Miami over the weekend? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I think they went down there to party or to get some sun or something. I don't know. I mean, they took the first two games, which was fun. But then Saturday, they sucked. And Sunday was a no-show. They lost 10 to So, and that's, you know, that's the trap. Not any sports teams go down to Miami. They get, oh, it's a, it's a business trip. We're going down to kick some ass. 
I'm going to go down and beat the Heat or the Marlins or the Dolphins or whatever. And they end up, they go out. I'm not saying the boys went out. I don't know, no, no. But a lot of these teams do. They go out and party. It's Miami. What, what, you know, the young guys, hey, party, Sunday, they on the beach. No, 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 no. And then they forget why they're there. I don't know. Maybe that's what happened with the Phillies. But the Phillies are back home. They're playing another Florida team tonight. They're playing the Tampa Bay Rays. They used to be known as the Devils. Until they, they took Satan out of the game. And uh, so the Phillies play the Devil Rays or the Rays, whatever. <clears throat> at home, and the Phillies are always better at them. So let's see what happens tonight. Back home again. Um, Eagles. Well, we talked about the Eagles. And they won Friday night. <clears throat> Good game, they beat the pack. But you know, it it yesterday, today's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania again. Bright and cool, 79, blue skies, sunshine. It's like perfect. I'll take this weather all year long. Yesterday was even cooler and more football like. And I'm sitting here thinking, you know, it would be a nice day to have a football game to go to. Ha, huh? ha. Huh? And uh, it would have been the home opener. Of course, the Eagles were robbed of a home game when the NFL put the Packer game down in Brazil. And nobody wanted to go. Nobody liked the weather there. Everybody was driving home. And uh, it robbed us, the fans, of a home, home game in September. What a beautiful, beautiful day. So... But uh, otherwise, you know, Eagles, now the Eagles won't play again until next Monday night when they play the Atlanta Falcons. They looked really bad yesterday. They only scored 10 points and they lost to the Steelers. You know, yesterday was a kind of an odd day in the NFL. They said, you know, week one, you never know what's going to happen. Week one, you've got to be careful because you don't know what's going to happen until things sort of settle in. And, you know, the cream always raises, rises to the top. The, your good teams may start off a little rocky, but then they eventually get better and, they, and then they, you got your playoff teams, right? Well, yesterday was really, really odd. I mean, you've got the New England Patriots who stink going into Cincinnati and beating the betting reps yesterday. Uh, the Steelers beat the... Um, Steelers beat the Falcons yesterday in Atlanta. Uh, just a lot of weird, weird. Uh, the Saints demolished Carolina. That should be a surprise. Carolina stinks. But uh, everybody's in Carolina. Carolina. You got to get on Carolina Panther. You know, Panther on. Panther on. Panther this. That. Anyway. So, uh, it was a little, a little strange. So tonight, Jets with Cookie Aaron Rodgers, Cookie, go uh, into San Francisco. Now, I, I actually think the Jets are going to play well because Aaron Rodgers, of course, he got hurt in the first game last year and uh, was out for the year. So this is like his comeback. And he, don't forget, Aaron Rodgers grew up uh, outside of San Francisco. He went to school in, at uh, University of Cal, and he that's his home. So uh, he's going back home again. I think he's going to play pretty well, too. I think so. I think Aaron Rodgers, give me this, give me this. Aaron Rodgers, two touchdown passes today, which I, I think that's the line, one and a half. One and a half touchdown passes. How can you have a half of the touchdown passes? Okay. I would take that. Aaron Rodgers, two touchdown passes. He's going back home again. So uh, that should be a good game. Uh, what else to have here before I leave? Before I leave. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of football, or not, did you see that? Or did you see the highlights of that Chargers Raiders game? All the fights in the stands. Oh my God! When I 
put the channel on there. I thought I was watching the Eagles. It's like all these fights, and not only in the stands, but outside the stadium after the game, it overflowed into the parking lot. The people were body slamming each other there. You know, it's stupid. Obviously, a lot of these people were drunk. And uh, I didn't see any old, old guys there like me. <laughs> but uh, 20 year olds, 30 year olds, but they're all fighting there. And it's like, come on, it's a football game. But behave yourself. Now, if my mom was alive, she would say, behave yourself. Just, just kidding. We never, you know, when I was a kid, we never had to sit at four. Yeah, we didn't do that. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> we were always good, so we didn't know. That. But, you know, it's sort of ridiculous that people go to the football game. First of all, it costs a lot to go to the football game. Between parking, the tickets, the concessions. What, Coco? What? What the fuck? It costs a lot of money. So you're going to go there, and you're going to make an ass out of yourself, and you're going to fight just because the other guy has an opposing jersey on. Well, you know, I like guess it happens. It happens at Eagles to a lot of talk. You know, you got a cowboy fan coming in, and naturally, naturally, he's going to get the crap beat. <laughs> That's just what's going to happen. But I just thought it was kind of, you know, kind of strange, kind of sad to see that. You know, you know, people are, it's, it's, it's a game, you know, they're actually trying to kill each other. And, uh, yeah, you know, back in the good old days, when I used to go push my wheelchair through the snow, all the way up the hill, every day to school, 10 miles each way, back then, we didn't have fights at football games, because we didn't have football games. Well, the players didn't have helmets on. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, what? Uh, let me see. Is that all I wanted to talk about today? I think that's enough. <laughs> I think that's enough. Yeah. yeah, that's enough. That's enough. All right, so here's the deal. Either later today or tomorrow, I'm going to do a classic TV show of the week. And this is a good one. This is a good one. This isn't... Uh, my mother in a car type of a show. You know, this is a good show. And it's a classic TV show. And it gets the most viewership. Oh, no, I, I did, what did I do? I did Cheers the other week. And I did uh, Get Smart. Not too good. Not too good. Yeah, not too good. Um, but this one I think is going to is going to spark some interest. Now that I'm on uh, Facebook, hello Facebook. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy these classic TV episodes too. Yeah, basically I, we just sit around and we talk for twenty minutes about uh, a classic TV show. It, it, it's going to bring back some memories for you, and you're going to say, "Oh yeah, I remember the Brady Bunch had a dog, Tiger, Tiger." But I didn't know they had a cat, something like that. Or if you haven't seen the show, it might uh, prompt you to find it, stream it, or or, or do, do something. But uh, look for it on YouTube. YouTube's great. So uh, that's that's the purpose of it. It's fun. We just had that's the thing we're here having fun and spreading some joy, right? So what will it be? What will it be? Are we going to talk about uh, Lost in Space? Mm -hmm. Are we going to talk about the Brady Bunch? Mm -hmm. Gilligan's Island? Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, I've done all these shows. Uh, in case you're new to the party and you just watch me on X or Facebook, I've done about 375 of these shows now. And if you're interested, if you really, really want to torture yourself, and I mean torture yourself, 
go to the YouTube channel that it's called Unbreakable Spirits with an S over there. That's my channel, and that's where you'll find all the past episodes. And they're all categorized. And uh, the hell's going on in that? You know, place is haunted. And you'll be able to find whatever. Like I said, if you're really, 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 really tired and you can't sleep and you need something to fall asleep to, watch me. That's all I can say. Watch me. Okay. So, uh, but I'll be back either later today or tomorrow. You're doing a classic TV show of the week. And uh, that should be fun. And tomorrow, I'll be back tomorrow because we're at, we don't talk politics unless somebody does something or says something really stupid. Then I come on and I let them have it. But I try to stay away from that stuff because uh, you don't want to hear that. You, you want to get away from that stuff for 20 minutes a day, right? You want to talk about, you want to talk about Who's part there is and who's what is a national teddy bear? That's more important. So tomorrow, I think we will do a little uh, pre-debate uh, stuff, and um, maybe we'll talk a you little know, pre-debate stuff. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Okay, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day. Peace and love, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. And see, the dogs all left me. I'll buy myself. I'll buy myself. All right, all right. I don't know. I was just rambling on. I'm going to go for Okay, bye.